Welcome back to the channel and in today's blender tutorial I'm going to show you real quick how to make this procedural cracked concrete material in blender 4.0 and um, here's like the actual you know this is my original that you just saw there but this is the result from the tutorial and we're actually going to be doing a physical displacement here so this is not just um, something that is in the bump map only but there's actual displacement going on with our modifiers for these nice looking cracks over here so if this is something you want to learn how to do keep watching and i'll break it down step by step in blender 4.0 so in blender i just quickly took the default cube and i subdivided it a whole bunch of times and rounded it out and now i've got this and i added a, another subdivision surface modifier and i've just got these area lights and a camera so super simple and we're inside of cycles so once you have a simple setup um, go ahead and go to your camera view and then you're going to go into your shading workspace and inside of your shading workspace uh, let's grab um, whatever object you're working with in this case i've got this sphere i'm going to go z i'm going to go rendered and i can now see over here and i'm going to come over here and add a few things to my principal node so let's start off by going shift a search and let's get a noise texture and let's take this noise texture and plug the color into the base color of our principle. And then we're gonna go shift A, search, and let's go ahead and get a color ramp. Place that over here and let's drag this value up like so, and then this value down. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the detail and take it to 12. And let's take up our scale to 25. And let's grab this value here and let's make that kind of like a darker gray. And this one over here will make kind of like a lighter gray like this. And let's take the roughness up a little bit as well. Okay, that's really good. Now let's go shift D to duplicate this color ramp. Let's plug the color into here as well. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come to the drop down on the coat now. I'm gonna take this color and feed it into the roughness of this shader here. And now let's just go ahead and grab this value here. Let's make that kind of more white and this one here will kind of take as a bit of a darker gray. Let's also go shift a search and get a bump node. Let's plug this color into the height and then let's take this bump normal and plug it in to the normal up here. And now we have bump and let's take the strength and take it down to 0.2. And now we just kind of have a rough looking um, concrete here, but let's now also go and make the crack component of our um, cement shader here. So for that, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna go Shift A Search, and we're gonna get a noise texture again. And then we're gonna go Shift A Search, we're gonna get a Veronoi. So we're gonna type in Veronoi, get a Veronoi texture. And let's plug this color into the vector here. And then we're gonna go Shift A Search, let's get a mapping get a mapping node, let's plug it into this vector and then let's drag on this vector over here and just type in texture co and get a texture coordinate. Let's go with object. Then we're gonna go shift A search and get a color ramp node. Plug this color into the factor here. And now let's just take this and visualize it. And we wanna change this Verona from F1 to distance to edge, and it's disconnected the distance. I'm just gonna take the distance, plug it back into the factor here. And now let's just take this white value, drag it all the way down, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to the scale, make it something like one over here, and let's mess around with the scale over here. I'll take this down to 1.2. Let's just really drag this white value down and close, like this. So we kind of have just these edges here like that. So with the noise texture here, we're gonna take the scale, make it somewhere around 0.3 or 0.4. And with the Verona texture here, we're gonna take the scale over here and have it at about four to five, around about there. So with those basic settings there, we now have something we can use for cracks. So make sure these two values are nice and tight, close together, like that. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab these nodes that we just created, we're gonna go G and move them up over here. And now let's come over here and let's actually grab our principal shader and go shift D to duplicate it. Move it over here and let's take this output over here from the color ramp, plug it into the base color. And this is gonna be our second material, the inside of the cracks. And we're gonna come over here, shift A search and get a U and saturation value. Place it over here and let's take that value all the way down to make it a lot darker. And then over here near our material output, we're gonna go shift A search and get a mix and get a mix shader, place it on this cable. 
And let's actually take the output from our first principal shader, put it at the bottom, grab the output from this principal shader, shader and put it at the top. And then we can take these nodes where we created the cracks. Let's take that color ramp and plug it into that factor. And now it's mixing these two materials. You can kind of see we have these faint cracks running here. But what we really need is displacement. But for now, I'm just going to take the value and bring it down even more to make it darker like that on this secondary crack material. But what we can do now is we can take this setup here, which is our crack. And we can actually just take this color output and plug it into the displacement over here in our material output. And we need to go shift a search actually and just get a displacement. Place it on here and make sure it's going into the height like so. And now what we can actually do is go to our modifiers. And you might have to go actually to your render settings first and change the um, feature set to experimental. Then you can go back to your modifiers and then go adaptive subdivision. And then you need to go over to your shader properties here and go down to your displacement or I guess the settings you need to go to. And then under the displacement here, you wanna make it displacement and bump. And then you can just take the scale here and make it something like 0.1 or 0.05. And now you can see we have some actual physical displacement here on our material. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and save this on my computer somewhere. And now let's go render and render image. And you can see this is what we have so far. Um, I'd say that these cracks are a bit too wide. So what we can do to fix that, it's very simple. We just need to come over here to our crack um, setup here that makes the cracks. And we want to come here and just bring these values even closer together over here. And then maybe mess around with the scale a little bit. So maybe something like four over here works good and you can mess around with the scale over here just try out some different um, things i would go something like point maybe three five and i might bring down the roughness here on the noise texture a little bit and now let's go ahead and render and see what that looks like and here we have our cracked looking concrete um, material and also i just quickly realized that um, i put the roughness into the wrong spot we actually want to put it up here under the base color. So we over here, you have the base color and you have metallic roughness. We want to plug it right there into the roughness there, like so. In fact, you could even not plug it in if you wanted to, and then just kind of take roughness up to something like 0.7. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can mess around with this material, but this is where I'm going to be leaving it. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time for another tutorial.